Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. Let's get into it, Cancer. Thank you, God, for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see how Cancer is coming into the week. How are my Cancers coming into the week? How's Cancer? Okay. King of Cups, Nine of Wands. So looking at the past here, you got a lot of emotions here. You got, you got options. But at the same time, it's like you're looking at one particular option, looking backwards, um, wondering if you should reach out, if you should fight for this connection, if you should put more time or energy behind this, or should you let it go? It's like you can't actively be in the present because you're looking at the past. Either you or a person around you is doing this. It just seems as if um, somebody is kind of on the outskirts or non-committal or not truly or fully invested. Somebody's also trying to figure out their mind space or their heart. It's just like, why am I having these feelings? Why am I thinking about this? What am, what's going on with me? You have a temperance card. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Uh, this is also directly related to the King of Cups. So this could be you. Um, so it's just like you're trying to balance out all of these emotions that you're having. It's just like the universe is really prompting you and pushing you to a place of really putting your emotions in place. It's like processing your emotions accurately, putting them where they belong, balance in your emotions. It's like maybe you're going too far to the left or too far to the right. It's like take the middle ground. Um, it says that if something is going one way, it's going to continue to go that way. With the temperance card, it talks about patience and maybe even like um, absolution. Yeah, it talks about absolution after. Coming back together or salvaging oh so it's like maybe you want somebody to kind of forgive you absolve you of the past and maybe salvage the relationship or this is what somebody is doing in regards to you they're kind of forgiving the past and moving forward and trying to stay in a in a balanced emotional space even though the past is still there and it's still present Something about everyday struggle. It's an everyday struggle for somebody to maintain their emotional balance. Hmm. All right. So what is the advice for cancer here this week? What is the advice for cancer? The king of swords. So this could be same sex relationship. Um, king of swords. So it's like intellectualized. Intellectual. Um... With the King of Swords, it says ambition. It says drive. It says also it says um, inspired or you know yeah inspired thought, inspiration. It's also you doing nothing or saying nothing right now. That's the advice. It's just sit with your thoughts, okay, and see where you are. Are you in or are you out? Um, making some decision also seeing the, the truth of the matter or getting some truth here getting the facts or putting the facts in place or where they belong it's like your head is in the clouds you're continuously thinking um, it's like um, govern your thoughts accordingly or put them somewhere I don't know what is this the strength card it's like yeah holding back due to lack of trust um, something cyclical over and over again um, there is an energy of not knowing the other person's motives or there's been somebody being mysterious this is also um, not knowing about the other person's finances or financial stance or backing or not knowing where you stand with them or trying to tame your emotions when it comes to the other person or this is what your person is trying to do. It's like someone is trying to get along. 
yeah it's like somebody you want to rush in or somebody wants to rush into you and co i heard coerce or persuade you into somebody felt like the grass was greener on the other side but now they're realizing that it's not somebody wants the other person back they feel better with them they feel happy with them there could be a lot of drinking involved with somebody's emotions here trying to maintain their emotions or their emotional space somebody had more than one option but they're realizing that the other option that they chose was not the best yes yeah, somebody wants to relive or revive the connection this could be you this could be another person so it's just like so it's continuously holding back continuously holding back but want to reach out last card for cancer last card for cancer what do we have to tell cancer the five of swords so it just might not be the best option uh here to reach out to communicate um this is a test of your will uh, are you dedicated are you committed to this or is just is this just ego based or maybe this could be in terms of another person is it just ego driven like is it just that you want to win is it just that you want to know that you can pull a person back in at will um, is this is this just self-interest or is it more than that is it um, you have another person's you know do you have their best interest at heart also or is it just you this is reversal this is mind games this is also lack of communication and somebody feels like the other person is not communicating not reaching out so that they can it's all a part of a bigger scheme a bigger plan a mind game that they're playing and if i don't reach out then you'll reach out i can pull you in this is what you're doing or this is what the other person is doing it's just like um somebody is looking at love as you know win lose draw it's, it's not more so um togetherness compassion and making things work it's more so domination submission somebody is extremely emotional immature emotionally immature this is what i have for you cancer if it resonates let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section go over to the website book there ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy L a coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Cancer. Many blessings to you. Take care.